we're looking at the idea of two centers. So we always accept kind of the, the idea of center of mass being around here. Um, you think about it, hips are heavy, so this is where he kind of his center is, but you also can think of it in terms of two centers, certainly the Ross guys seem to do. Um, and if you think about his body and the structure, it's kind of that sort of shape and then that sort of shape. And there's all his internal organs, his heart, his lungs, um, kidney, etc. in this area here, are surrounded by bony structure of the ribs with the shoulders, the top of it. So we started sort of thinking about this idea of him being in two structures, but also then us in two, uh, two centers. So if he clenches me, say, up here, then he's got hold of my, maybe controlling my, my top centre now. So here he's at the top, it's not so bad because I can move, you know, anything. But if he clenches, say, around my chest here, now I can't really move this centre. Now, there's an idea of there being a direction. So he's squeezing the direction this way here. So I want to be able to go into that way there first before I can start taking him down. Now, one of the ways we've been playing with this idea, maybe here, is to, to work by moving. If I can't move this centre, is to move this centre here and see how this changes our relationship there. So, when he squeezes, wherever he's squeezing here, it's the top centre that's got it. It's going this way. So, if I move my bottom centre, and it allows me to start the movement. Once I have movement, then that's what I work with. So the, the movement here is actually pushing in here and here. So, uh, you see how we're starting to unlock him. The reason why we're falling over um, is, 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 let's go squeeze. He's squeezing this way. So if we start thinking about three planes and also the idea of triangle. So here, if I move my, my bottom center or my top center, so here, once I get that movement going, there you go, see how he's starting to go, and now setting down to his triangle. Now one of the interesting things, if you think like a clinchy type of situation here, is that when you think about one point of support, two points of support here and here, that if I had to rotate his centre around there, and like, so where, wherever the pressure is, so here it's slightly this way, and there's pressure here as well. So if I start to move with this pressure here, wherever it's going, and then I can then rotate him round and down to that triangle. The triangle is actually coming from the two points of support here. So what we're looking at as well in class at the moment is the idea that when we grip each other, we perform like a structure together. So we're no longer a bipedal creature, we've now got four. One, two, three, four. Because this is the wider side, this would be the easiest one to take him to. However, because of the pull in this direction, see, that's where I'm going to st start to, to go. <clears throat> so here I'm going this way here. So that is the direction that I'm going. So the idea is to kind of, kind of take him beyond where he wants to be. So. He, yeah, he's taking me, you see I'm going this way here, so if I just take him beyond that, I can start to affect his structure. Here, the pressure's this way. Quite hard to deal with because I'm going up onto my toes, but I can move my bottom centre, and that allows me that freedom of movement I wouldn't have. He can reach around the bottom though, here. I can't really move my hips. If you go strong, yeah, it's hard to move my hips, but I can still move my upper center. So it's not a case of moving my arms, it's about moving, yes. See how I move the center and move this, as opposed <coughs> to moving this, because I can't move my hips anywhere, but I can move my upper body, and then that starts to move this. So the idea where every he grips, if I start to to move my, my sensor, there you go, it unlocks him. And you see when I don't move this, and I start trying to, nothing's really happening. But as soon as I, whoa, there you go, that's where it starts to work. And then the structure breaking kind of happens because you've got some sort of inertia to, whoa, to go with, and that works for taking him down. So it's a great drill, you can play with anyway. Yeah, oh, it's got me here, so, there's pressure kind of coming up this way, so. 
and we can work with that wherever he lives. Here it's going this way, so move this and that allows it to take it off. So here, where he's gripping this way, I've been pulled this way here, so I can move this here, and I want to move it such a way that I kind of go where he wants me to go. Because if I don't, if I go against it, do this. But if I go where he wants me to go, and I keep it moving with either a figure eight, or a spiral, a circle, or a combination of all of those, question mark, that allows him to switch the vector. Here's the vector that's going this way here. It's taking the time, I've got a feel there. He wants to go that way. He also wants to go this way here. So I could, start working with one and then work with the other. So I'm trying to ascertain what's going on. I can feel pressure this way here. I can feel pressure this way here. So I can start one moving or start the other moving. Once I get that point, that, once I get the, the point moving, instead of stopping and trying to take it away, I use question mark, figure of eight or circle, and that allows them to continue moving. Because if we, don't, if we stop it again, he's going to lock up. If I get any point here, and I start to move him, uh, and then I stop, it's going to solidify. But if he gets again here, I feel the pressure and I he doesn't get a chance to solidify. I don't want that him him locking here. It's going this way here. And that's where the, the takedown's happening. So it's kind of a soft work drill in that I'm being soft. He's got to be strong because if he's not strong, I don't feel it. There's, what do I, what do I work with? Go down the pub like this. But if he gets strong, and he there, I can feel there's a direction here and here. So that is the direction he's starting to go in. So that is kind of where I need to see how that what I can go that way because he wants to. So that is the curve that I take. So I've got to feel <coughs> where he wants to go because if I can't feel it, then I can't do anything with it. So his, you know, when the attacker, he's got to really. Get in and squeeze, because now he knows the direction, and that's where he goes. <coughs> we go that, so it's a really good drill for feeling where we're going, where their pressure is, and then to continue it through this idea of figure of eight, through question mark, and the idea that we can move the top center, or the bottom center, or a combination of both. Especially if we've got a combination of pressures, one at the top and one at the bottom.